Hi, this is Rashid Al-Jahani, Solutions Architect, part of IBM Customer Success Management Team. In this video, I will be demonstrating AppConnect integration with OpenShift Pipeline. I will start by designing the integration application that simply will take XML message and will convert it to JSON format. Let's start by designing the message flow that simply will take three nodes as an HTTP input and then HTTP reply, and in the middle, we will construct the message using the compute node. Now let's wire those connectors together. Now I'm going to add some of the required configuration on the HTTP input, such as a suffix for the URL and the message domain. Starting adding the logic in the compute node, which simply will take two lines by accepting the XML input and construct that as part of the JSON format to using sit output true.json.data. And then I'm going to add a new header information to accept the content type application slash JSON. That looks fine to me now. Simply I'm going to save and move to the next step by starting the flow exerciser. And from here, I'm going to create a sample message that simply will take an XML. And let's hope the result will be JSON as expected. As you can see, the result is JSON. So the application is running successfully. Now I'm going to close and stop my flow exerciser. And now we are ready to package the application as a bar file. And once that is done, we will start integrating with GitHub. I'm going to create uh, my get repo as data converter app. And then I'm going to clone it locally. And now I'm going to define the first commit or the initial commit. And as usual, it's going to be a readme file. And this is simply taking the title of my application, data converter app. I will use the simple steps by adding the artifact to my repo and then committing that with a proper message and finally push that. As you can see, the results reflected. Now let's integrate the get repo to um, my integration application using the git plugin in Eclipse. And I'm mapping to the git uh, folder that I just cloned. And I, uh, now as you can see, the application got reflected or copied to the same git repo. Now um, I will add as well the bar file and as you always, we will add those configuration and then committing that and finally push to the GitHub. We can see the results reflecting um, on the Git repo. For the final step, I will define the Docker file that will help us uh, during the pipeline experience to create the container image. Once the Docker file is ready, we're going to add it and then commit that with a proper message. And finally, push the file to the Git repo. Now I'm ready to navigate to OpenShift. From the left menu, we're going to click on Pipeline. And then you will find a couple of useful functionality. For example, cluster tasks, which come with predefined actions. Or you can customize your own. In my example here, I'm adding one of the custom tasks which simply will take an integration uh, server and deploy it on the environment, as you can see as part of the script logic. And I'm passing two uh, parameters or dynamic values, uh, the name of the deployment, in addition, the image address, and I'm adding them as part of the line number 23 and line number 32. Now I'm gonna hit save and navigate to the pipeline where we're gonna design the flow of uh, the deployment. It will take three steps. First, uh, fetching the resources from GitHub, and then building and pushing the image to a container registry, and finally deploying it. I'm gonna start the pipeline manually, but ultimately you wanna listen to some triggers. For example, uh, a Git um, or a commit in a Git server. I'm gonna add the deployment name, which pretty much matching the actual application that I'm deploying, data converter app, and then the get URL, which I'm going to copy directly from GitHub. 
and in the image, basically the image tag that you want to add uh, whenever you push the image to the container registry. I'm attaching the BBC as a shared workspace between those um, actions or tasks in my pipeline. Now let's monitor the steps as part of the pipeline um, logs. As you can see, I don't have a deployment yet in the AppConnect dashboard. And we will be uh, monitoring the steps once the pipeline is completed to reflect the deployment status. I'm going to have um, the app connect operator to my right side to monitor whenever that deploy integration server action, the last action to my right side, reach to that stage, we'll be able to find that new instance ready. As you can see, the first task was completed, fetching uh, the resources. Now we're restarting the second step, which basically building the image and then push it to the local registry. And this is pretty much matching the logic that we had within the Docker file. I see the second step, um, building image got completed, and now we should be able to start deploying the integration server. As we can see from the right side, the new integration server is in a bending state. It should take a few more minutes um, to get ready. In the meantime, let's check the image that was, was pushed to the container registry, as you can see here in the image stream. And now let's refresh the AppConnect dashboard. We should be able to find an instance. Here we go. Now it's in ready state. Let's copy the URL and let's try to test that on the local environment. I'm going to pass pretty much the same uh, payload of a previous um, test example, but in this time I'm using the actual uh, route that was exposed uh, part of the AppConnect integration server and the results reflected as expected. Thank you for watching and I hope you found the demonstration useful. And if you have any question, feel free to reach out. Have a good day.